Hello, Leo. Welcome. I'm Ivy Rivera, psychic medium, here to give you your monthly horoscope for September 2019. Leo, what is going on with you? I have a few key days popping out here, and I'm really just going to stick to those because the energy there is dynamic enough that that information should propel the rest of your month in between. Now, on the second, I'm hearing that you're really up in your head a lot and that's exactly where you should be don't allow for outside distractions to pull you out from that headspace you need to be listening very very closely to your inner workings okay be introspective be mindful that you're staying on the right side of your brain that's where all of our intuitive information comes from avoid the left over logical side what is going to be coming through for you is a lot of direction and analysis on your life in general. I don't want to say necessarily just where you're headed or that it's about your work and money. It's kind of a processing in general about where you've been, what it means, who you're becoming, um, possibly even going way into the past, looking at your childhood or influences there. I see you looking at your relationships. A lot of important information is coming through. So be open to anything and allow your mind to wander through those. It's almost like these, you know, these open fields, these, um, this journey and more and more will appear to you if you just let it go. So you're also receiving direction at that time, not just from your higher mind, but also from spirit. So listen for your guides, your ancestors giving directions, especially in your dreams. I have something interesting going on with you um, on that day. I have you being very in tuned medically to other people. We sometimes think of this more as empathic ability. Um, I, I tend to think of it as just straight up energy reading. So if you might notice that you're picking up physically in your own body physical impressions these are called clairsentience physical impressions in your own body coming from other people around you that are maybe dealing with medical problems um, possibly even mental and emotional issues you could find that you're quite medically intuitive on that day and you may be saying to yourself i didn't even know i could do that pay attention to what you're feeling and what your insights are, they're incredibly accurate and you should be developing this more from here on out into the future. I also wanna say that it, no, we don't wanna alarm anyone, okay, or give inappropriate messages. We always wanna stay within an ethical code of conduct. But if you are getting something and you know that you're right, don't be shy to deliver messages, whether they be from spirit or medical intuitive, out to those around you because it is extremely helpful at that time. Between the third and the fourth, I'm hearing that it's really important for you to take the time to spend with your family, with your children, um, with whoever is in your closest circle that you um, don't always get a ton of time with unless you make it a priority because your life is about to go in a rapidly moving forward direction here in the next few months. I'm not going to get into all that, but it's sort of like the time is now, all right? So give the effort and um, set the time aside and even plan something nice to do with your closest people, especially your children and your family. Now, for some of you, I'm actually feeling a change with your spouse, your love partner, um, whoever you're closest to, um, connected in a romantic way where there could be an exchange of finances it's interesting to me that this person could very well be called away they could have a new job they could have a new commute they could have um, a new travel type circumstance that's even calling them out of town or out of the state and um, I feel good about it I also feel like it could be a bit of an adjustment uh, on the 15th I'm feeling a really intense, almost sexually orgasmic energy going on with you. Whatever's going on, it feels to me like enjoy it. Um, I do see it really activating for a lot of you a whole new way of handling your sex life, 
even your identity um, as a sexual person, your sexuality, all of this. I'm feeling for many of you that this is going to be also about your creative endeavors. So if you're an artist, a musician, a writer, there are a million different ways, okay, to be artistic and to let that creative energy out. I see you being able to take it out onto the streets in a new way and it's going to be received better than it ever has been for those of you who've been like poor starving artists or you had um a project that you've had to keep on the back burner for so long because you had to go out and get an actual paycheck you know this is a great time to relaunch that and push it out there get it in the public eye i'm hearing new order there's a new order to your creative endeavors from here on out the 20th to the 21st, I'm seeing you help younger people. This doesn't have to be children. This could also just be people who are more immature or they're not up to your level with your abilities. I see you being able to give leadership to them and then receive benefits from that it's like blessings i'm hearing three times over or blessings threefold for the effort that you're putting in for many of you this may fit into a job that you have and you may be noticing that on that day or around those days the 20th to the 21st you're feeling fed up you're like i don't want to do this anymore i'm not getting any um sense of retribution here i feel very much like um, my energy is being drained. I'm irritable every time I have to do this. I want to say that's it for you. You need to get on the right path. You no longer belong in that position. And if you are really paying attention to what is written within your life contract around that time, you should be receiving a lot of information from your Akashic Record Guide who holds your past life information and will be redirecting you on this new chapter because you're done with this now. Now, you should be getting a ton of information from your work and money guide as well as your joy guide pay attention on the 22nd I have you in a position where you really need to watch your words there's someone who takes special interest in you and it's unfortunate I wish they wouldn't is how I feel it's almost like swatting a fly you know it's annoying this person seems to pop up and really try to be your friend they present themselves as um, um, you know just being there for the social atmosphere but they're really more like a fly on the wall and everything that comes out of your mouth is being noted and will be passed on if it's inappropriate or could be misconstrued in any way if it could be twisted in any way and I do feel that for some of you I'm talking about you in a work situation a work atmosphere where they might take it up to a higher up or they might start some kind of gossip but for some of you I really feel like it's almost in a family dynamic type of a way whether you're dealing with like in-laws you're dealing with um, like a, a someone in the family who has like a new love partner there's almost some kind of a dramatic entity uh, coming in here and do you really want to be mindful of who's around you and when you should have free speech okay on the 23rd I'm seeing an increase with your money and it's going to come in the form of a promotional opportunity it could for some of you feel more lateral but that does not rule out that it is a promotion and for some of you, it's quite literal. You're just like up a, a, a new level and it's very obvious that it's a brand new level. Um, for others, it really feels to me like it has more to do with a certificate, some type of an honor, some type of a medal, some type of an award, a recognition for your effort. And it's the type of thing that is going to maybe go on a plaque or go go up on your fridge or go up on the wall um but realistically it's a long-term promotion it's the type of thing that you can add to your portfolio and it will be working in your favor for many many years to come and i would not be surprised if within the next two months you receive a different promotion because of that specifically all right uh leo's great month for you I mean really really great okay and um, I think it's just really important that this month 
you're not stopping yourself because you've had a tendency in the past to think and dictate to your inner child you know in such an adult manner where it's like you can't have this because you have to work you can't be creative because you have to earn a paycheck this can't happen um, because this is where your time and effort needs to be going uh, and it's nose to the grind time it's not okay it's all about playing it's all about giving that love and attention where it really should properly be placed with a family and friends and children and those closest to us and in our artistic endeavors okay so have a great month uh i will see you again in october for your monthlies but in the meantime i do a live show called ask a medium where i take your personal questions and i give your weekly horoscope i do that on facebook live instagram live and i am launching youtube live the next show is going to be at 9 p.m eastern on wednesday september 11th you can find me at ivy angela Rivera. Hope to see you. Thanks.